Hi guys, I'm Lloyd from uh, the Nokia team, so I'm going to show you today the brand new C7. So the C7 is a really sophisticated social smartphone and, uh, and today we're going to look at the, the new Simian platform that we've introduced on a bunch of whole, you know, uh, E7 as well as C6. Um, and so let's take a look at the C7 now. So we have on, on all Simian 3 products our three home screens and I've just set these out in ways that you guys could kind of see that you could just have a page full of apps, uh, a mix and match between anything that you want to have. So C7 itself functionally has an 8 megapixel camera, a dual LED flash and a full focus lens. So everything is always in focus. There's no autofocus, it's full focus so it's always on. So similar to what we have in some other products at the moment in the market. We support 720p high definition video recording and playback on the device. So to show you some of the new Symbian 3 features, we have visual multitasking now throughout the entire product. So if we press and hold the menu keys, then we have the ability to visually see what we're doing in the phone. So we can go now to say photos that I've got open and let's go back into say one of the photos that we were looking at earlier that looks stunning. So all of these are taken on the C7. And what we have now implemented into Symbi 3 is pinch zoom technology. So we can pinch zoom on the device. And the, the greatest thing that I, I want to pick out here is, is the water detail. But generally with a normal device you'd have to focus onto that. But because full focus is always there, the background is still all is in detail. And it's just one of the most amazing things. Because it's very thin, you know, this is 10.5 millimeters thin. Uh, how we did all of that into that size is still beyond me. But I think that's a, a massive win-win. Um, so we can double tap. And we of course we use uh, various kind of swipe uh, motions. Um, so gesture uh, technology. So you double zoom. So there's no half, halfway uh, autofocus? It just it's always on. It's so just one click? It's one click. So if I was to start the camera now, most, most devices you'd see a couple of seconds yeah. uh, start. So if I, if I just uh, do that. So I'm pressing on the camera key now. Bam, that's on. So that will just literally, that's all that's focused on the foreground and the background. And that's it. Oh, cool. So, what's the limit? Uh, how, what's, how close can you get? So, probably to about um, about 30 centimeters, maybe to maybe to a meter. You know, for, for kind of distance between uh, one meter to for infinite value. So, I think that's one of the, the key things. So, but again, we can leave that running in the background, and if we wanted to come back to that later, then we can do. You know, it's simple as that. We can just go straight back into photos and and do whatever we we were doing. Okay, so let's look at um, our, our, other, our other elements of the device. So Simian 3 supports uh, a, a sort of a, a, a 60 frames a second scrolling. Um, and you can use that in, in any list view that you've got, whether it be music player, uh, whether it be in contacts, messages, conversations, any list view that you've got. So let's have a look at music player now, for instance. So let's open up music player. And as you can see here, really, really simple. Very fast, very fluid. Uh, and because we have a dedicated GPU and a dedicated CPU, and that's kind of a, a benchmark now with Symbian 3. So they, you know, that's that's what makes it fast and reliable. So let's go play some songs. We'll just shuffle them all. So it's not my deliberate uh, music taste that goes on here. Um, but of course, we can go back and we can rotate the device. And these are processes. So it doesn't always work, but it will go into our malware view. So you've seen this already on the N8, uh, and so we're just continuing that kind of motion going forward now on all Symbian 3 products and it just looks stunning. So we can run that in the background. So we can multitask that. If we want to change one of the home screen pages, press and hold on the home screen, and we have the ability to move things around or remove them. Or if they've got a setting, change the setting of that. So for this one to be changing the idea and the, the, the icons that we have on there. So let's add on something from the device or we can now go straight to the Obby Store. So brand new stuff that we've got on there. We, we launched Obby Store 2.0 so we can go straight to the Obby Store and now take you straight to the widget page as well. So we don't have to change anything about that, it's just go straight on. So let's add on for instance Music Player and let's add on uh, say FM Transmitter. Again that's built right into the device. But let's put them at the top of the phone. Done. So rotate the device and as you can see, it's laid out in the way that I wanted it to. 
We can also change the wallpaper as well. So when you have that editing option open, go to options and change wallpaper. And we can select any one of the wallpapers that we've, we've taken. What's our pricing and availability? So I can't talk about pricing. In, in, if you want to talk about pricing, we need to go to, uh, to one of the, uh, the uh, press agencies, but it will be available by the end of Q4. So, but that's not globally, that's in selected markets. So, um, but that's worth having a look at. So, we've now decided to, to, to change the wallpaper. And you can still change all the other home screens when you've got one editing square screen open. You can change the rest of them as well. But, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll shut the music off. But, um, but, you know, 8 megapixels, 720p. Let's show you some video recording uh, or some video playback on the device because I think that looks stunning as well. So this is a 720p trailer. So we're using AMOLED technology. So it's a 3.5 inch capacitive display. Uh, we use haptic feedback as well, brilliant haptic feedback. So you know, if people aren't sure about going from button to, to, to touch, then we do a really great job of making sure they know when they touch the screen. A really nice vibration in there. Uh, we use uh, 640 by 360 pixels. The same as we have on the N8, right. same as you have on the E7 and the C601. So it looks stunning, and we, again, we can run that in the background. And what will happen is that it will just give you, the, it'll give you a snapshot of whatever you were doing last. So if you go back to videos there, and continue the video. So it's so really, really quick. It's basically like the N8 except without the camera. Well, the, the, the software element to it is all very similar. It's, I mean, it's part of a family. Every device has its own individual properties. That's what makes you know our, our devices unique. You know, we don't believe in that one size model fits all. Everyone has a different need, so that's why there are so many devices. But you know, a lot, a lot of the, 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 the familiarities will, will be the same, whether it be from the N8 to the C6 to the E7 and to the C7. Um, so, but you know, uh, because Symbian 3 itself supports things like USB on the go, so you can plug in any USB uh, yeah, sort of uh, flash drive to, to the to the C7. Um, the, the cable probably won't be in the box, but it, it's uh, it's the N8 cable actually. Um, but you can um, you can you'll be able to uh, 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 pick these up in the accessory stores uh, when the, when they come to market. Um, but to give you an example of 720p footage, um, just to uh, load up a music video. So that's playing at you know uh, full 720p. And of course, when you're ready to uh, you know remove the device, just pull it out. The device knows the media isn't there to play. So it just says, okay, can't play it, and it just goes back. And that's, that's great. So that's the C7, so it'll be available soon. Um, and you know, get your hands up when you can. Thanks a lot, appreciate it. No worries, Mark.